will burn. <laughs> oh, you're gonna burn all that. I need some red. Yeah, I, to no, I just need to put more railgun in front of this game. Show me airstrike. Okay, airstrike. Keep that for now. Finish them off once and for all. Yep. I loved her, the look on her face before she blew up. Such a smug grin. Yeah, two of us are fully upgraded machine guns. Very no! 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 Fire strike did, didn't even count that much. No inferno. In hell, I wait for you. In hell! That's not really a threat. <laughs> You were a useful tool, Inferno, but never anything more. Wait, why is she okay? We just blew up the other one. Oh, now another you face boss. Me. Boss Inferno level two. Inferno was a blustering fool. I knew he would probably fail. That's why they sent me. Any last words before I send you to your deaths? Hey, bitch! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> for a punchline. That's Yo. right. I'm back. I got shot in the head, but I'm better now. Nice work, Renegades. Real nice. Let's go find a bar. I'm buying. Cool people don't look at the explosions. They just turn around and walk away. Boom. Boom, baby. Yep. Cut. It's credits time. Cutscene over. I seriously thought they were gonna pull a you have not seen my final form boss fight on us, but nope. Technically the old Ness Jackal did that. You're like, oh it's the enemy capital, shoot the turrets and it's done, and then giant enemy tank out of nowhere. I like how he showed up at the last minute. Yeah, I don't. It, does it even make sense? He got shot in the head. But he's just like, I'm better. I'm now, better. how did he find us? How did he make his way through? With the head wound. Yeah, with the head wound. <sighs> Video games. Oh, 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 I think I'll go this way. Axel Lindenberg, or Lindberg. Thank you, Axel Lindenberg and Oscar Blumberg. Thanks. Wait, FMV artist? I guess they mean the guy doing the motion comic art. Because, I mean, you know, it wasn't actually FMV. Susan Holman did a good job. I guess Steven so. Steven Willis, Andy Dick, Meskel, Helena Jarley, Andres Vazuman. Boy, there's sure a lot of Linus Blumbergs on here. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. Um, if you hold, uh, I think C is the voice chat. Echo. Echo. Oh, that's one of my, um, trigger. Hello, Echo? Can you hear Echo? Or this one? Not Are yet. This? Yeah, that's the one. Echo. Yeah. Voice chat Echo. Yeah, it's one of the, um, bumpers on the 360 controller. All those engine programs. Only three production babies, so they didn't take much time in this game. <laughs> uh, I guess it probably took them maybe about a year or less. You know, because they all downloaded. Download. Download. I wish my name was Ninja. Yeah. 
Seriously, Ninja Blomberg. Lots of Blombergs, lots of Johansons. It's like, uh, one, it's like, it's one like Ninja is an actual game. name. Yep. Mike you know, Hayes. You know, I, I guess it makes sense that Ninja is an actual name somewhere, right? See, these, these are all the douchebags that delayed the game. Could be, yeah, could be Sega. I don't Alex think I don't know I like Alex Herpes. Humphreys, yep. Oh, I see. More like Alex Herpes. Ha 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 ha. Moray and Rizal Gold. Yep. Yep. Ben Payne. Is this the Payne residence? Yusuke Suai. I can't even say that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, hey, Mike Evans. He's the head of digital marketing. Get him. What digital marketing? <laughs> I, I guess they put some advertisements on some website, you know, some banner ads somewhere. Digital download account manager. And long. I guess Don't make fun of him. Right? Yeah, can't be too many accounts when it comes to Sega. I mean, they outsourced it all to Steam, but you gotta have someone. Head of legal. Hey, you wanna sue us? You, you talk to our Polly Bennett. Yeah. Similarities to actual persons living or deceased are wholly coincidental. Oh no. You know, now that I think of it, this is a lot like the Just Cause 2 ending. You blow up the bad guy and then credits. Hey, you, you, well, you want me to spoil it for you? I don't care. Hey, you strap him to a, a missile, you strap to a missile and you, you fly the missile into an oil field. That's pretty awesome. Yep. But basically it involves huge explosions out of the way, right? Yeah, but it, they also pulled that thing where somebody you think died actually didn't. Uh, just cause. Well, made by the same dude, so I guess they're really happy to reuse their um, idea plots, basically. I mean, recycle everything you can, right? Assets, engines, and plots. Well, there's there's still room for a sequel when it comes to this game. Yeah, so many yeah, so many Inferno, the madman terrorizing the world, really works for, you know, Terror Incorporated or, or, something. Co or something. Cobra or something. Yeah, basically. It's secret. <laughs> I wonder if from all the way up, all the way up. The sequel to this, if, if they do make one, if it's gonna be like you know, 3D, not top down, you know, like third third camera. Perspective. What, why would they make a sequel with an entirely different perspective? perspective. Well, Bigger, better game. I kind of don't see the point. I mean, you made Renegade Ops as like a throwback to the old, old school games with a semi-modern twin stick control, and that's. I think that's what people expect out of it. It'd be like, are they oh, going to make the next just cause into an RTS? Probably not. Uh, although, there's I no wouldn't problem mind being able, able to, like, zoom down on the action, but, you know, top down is for the best. Germany. There's so many Segas. So many Segas. So many Segas. Henning Osho. You will publish the game, yeah? <laughs> At least there aren't that many people working at all these Vegas. It's like, yeah, a couple guys. You know, the Spani the Sega Spain, the guy named German works for them. Ben Alex? What is ben that even? Ben Clearly somewhere in Europe. Holiday destination. That's where you have people like Johan. Yay, Sega France. Whatever. Oh, you know this is something like you can barely notice, but the background, the cars are sort of coming in and out real slow. 
Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, it's, yeah uh, that it, happens like on the Battlefield Back Company 2 menu, but it happens so slowly you can sort of barely tell. But when I recorded it, you know, and you can fast forward and such, you really notice it. It just goes boing, boing, boing. And I'm sure the same thing will happen here. That, there's a lot of subtle stuff, like Inferno's face in the background of the main menu, and also on the screen of their briefing where the map should be. You know, I guess, that, up I, guess America. That, I guess that counts as subtlety for this game, right? Yeah. See, here's the original, well, actually not original, but, you know, Japanese home branch Sega. 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 <laughs> Amusingly, Sega is, is kind of weird in that they started out as an American company and were eventually bought out by a Japanese company. And Didn't it, you know, Nintendo you know, start out as like a, a hotel or a restaurant or something? No, they, they actually started as a playing card manufacturer. Ah. And they, yeah, it, over the course, Nintendo's over a century old at this point, so they've been involved in just about every business that's possible to be involved in in the band, which is kind of amusing. Their bodies are ready. You think so, right? Man, this is something. You expect something to be after the credits? At this point, I don't know. I mean, they've gone on for a long time. Uh, you want to give it another minute and then just skip it. It'll probably just go back to the main screen now. Probably. Okay, so let's see what's after this. I hate it when games do the credits that just loop forever. And you don't... Oh, wait, it's on special thanks. This has got to be the end, right? Yeah. Military vehicle, military vehicle tech. Technology? Technology? Oh no! Secret corporate. Takumi. The more mother Sega. Joe. Hey Joe. Joe. Side Joe. Sidelines? Sidelines. Side Wait, what? What is side Gordon side Rennie. Mr. Free Mr. Rennie. Wake up and smell the ashes. I don't... I don't even know... Oh, here English. we are. Here we are. This is what we've been waiting for. Tom Clark Hill. He's pretty good. The Fairbank, I think we've seen him before. Miranda Raisin. Don't really recognize him. You know, yeah. What? The, wait. There were only three voices in the whole game? I... Pretty I, much. Wait a second. You're right. There were. None of our characters were voiced. Huh. That, but there were, of course, additional voices for like the soldiers and stuff. Yeah, so. And yeah, the so uh, civilians. Are they just not gonna name them? Hmm. Maybe it's the same person? Yeah, I mean, there's like that maybe guy who's like, my family, like... get me to the church and stuff. And uh, somebody alert Inferno that they've made it through. But I mean, if they're if they're good voice actors, man, they can like be totally different people, and you'd never notice. Mm -hmm. Like Stephen Blum was having a conversation with like two different people that he was voicing. Triple three-way Stephen Blums are the best. Uh, how many games can you get that in though? Like Mass Effect, and I guess maybe a couple others. But you can always tell him from his accent. He's like. <laughs> Yes, there we go. We had to sit through the credits and we got mission complete, finally. Amazing. Okay, there we are. Um, looks like you got a higher score. Got a higher score. I mean, I got a higher I mean, score. I got a higher score. Yeah, you, you've always got the higher score. Yeah, I guess I've but most of the time, it's like, just by a bit. Yeah. No, it's, it's not just like as well as um, the keyboard controls aren't as good as the 360 ones. Oh, yeah, that, that's probably part of it. Okay, there we are. It kept yeah. everyone gets a select mission. Anyway, so uh, I'll quit. Thanks for playing.
No problem. Thank you. And that, everyone, is Renegade Ops.